good morning. It's a great day to be scouting in Central Maryland. Let me tell you why. It's popcorn delivery time all across Central Maryland and our scouts are out delivering popcorn that they've sold through the fall campaign. It's also Veterans Day. Great day for us to say thank you to the people who have served our country, the men and women who have served our country. We have so many volunteers and so many of our families have been involved in scouting. We actually have staff members too who served in the military. So thank you for your service today on Veterans Day of all days. We should be saying thank you for what you've done. Hey, it's also a great time to be scouting in Central Maryland for a lot of other reasons. The Baltimore Area Council has had a wonderful October, not just selling popcorn and recruiting young people into the program, but we had some great special events. Our gathering of Eagles function was fantastic near the end of October. Steve Edwards and his committee did a wonderful job. Chris Inglis gave a superb keynote address. We followed that up with our Sporting Clays event at First Mine Run, uh, as well as having an auction afterwards. Chuck Gettings chaired a great event, and Brian and Ann Brooks hosted a wonderful auction at their home. And you know, it doesn't just stop there. Where We started November with our Good Scout Breakfast at National Pike, where we honored Dick Lombardo. It was a wonderful opportunity to honor a wonderful volunteer in the community. We have several special events still this year to come. We have the Good Scout Health Luncheon. We also have the Whitney M. Young Award and we'll be presenting a good scout in Carroll County as well. Hey, it's a good time to remind all of our scout leaders to get the applications for the young people who have joined the program. You folks in Cub Scouting especially need to get those applications in because we still have a few of our rockets left for the scouts who, uh, who signed up this year. And uh, we also wanna be sure that we cover them with our health insurance. So get those applications in as soon as you can so we can get our charters right. And probably a good time to remind our volunteers to go ahead and renew their youth protection training. Lastly, I'd like to encourage all of our leaders and our scouts to consider coming to Broad Creek Scout Reservation next summer. We have a wonderful Cub and Weeblo resident camp program. We do a superb Boy Scout program at our camp. We have a venturing opportunity where those young people can also experience camp and our STEM program we did this past year was wonderful. We hope that those camps will appeal to you and your scouts and you'll be a part of what we're doing at Broad Creek. And as we come into the holidays, might be time to mention too that we're still selling out opportunities to be a, a sponsor of one of our tent platforms and our new tents at camp so that our scouts will have the right place to stay when they come visit. We hope you have a good fall. We hope you're looking forward to a bright 2016. I'll see you next month. Goodbye.